Good evening everyone, Derek Dimmitt, Lucas Cochran from Believe Land Media here at Dick Stadium where the Bowling Green State Falcons defeated the Kent State Golden Flashes 49-19 here on Wednesday night of midweek action. Lucas, you're down on the field tonight. Uh, can you give the listeners something that you took away from tonight? The biggest takeaway from tonight was Tommy Ulataski's performance. He threw 284 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Hands down his best game on the year against a really tough Bowling Green defense. Now, Kent's defense did have huge struggles. They allowed four touchdowns, 190 total rushing yards. Bowling Green used a variety of attacks from the backfield, running multiple play actions, sweeps, quarterback sneaks. They used both of their quarterbacks to their advantage. Hunter Bazelak had a couple really good passes. Camden North was in there for the running game. I mean, Bowling Green even threw in a fake punt on a read that Kent was not prepared for as they were in punt return, and it resulted in a first down that later on turned into a touchdown. Kent's kicking game was on point like always. They got two field goals early on. They took the lead, but from there, they kind of faltered. What about you? I'm pretty much just piggybacking off of that. It was a long night, and it's been a long season for the Golden Flashes. Um, You try to take some positives. You definitely hit the nail on the head with Tommy Ulatowski. Coach did share with us post-game that he's had a loss in the family late last night. So just for him to come out here, you know, within 24 hours of losing a loved one and perform the way he did, you know, just shy of 300 yards, had a great game, found Luke Floria out of Minner multiple times. I believe they said upstairs that that was Luke's career high in receptions and yards. He had 18 targets. I mean, that really did showcase Kent's great mentality. For Tommy to come out after these past 24 hours and perform like that is amazing. It really is. All right, everyone, thank you for following along. For Luke Cochran, I'm Derek Dimmitt. Be sure to follow Believe Land Media on all of your socials, and we'll talk to you next time.